By the late 1970s, U.S. and Soviet early warning networks leaned on computers to spot incoming nukes, bringing speed, but also new failure modes. The era's most famous scare hit NORAD's Cheyenne Mountain Complex on November 9, 1979. Consoles suddenly flashed an all-out Soviet launch. Within minutes, the U.S. scrambled 10 interceptor fighters, ordered the President's Airborne Command Post, Doomsday Plane, aloft, and told launch crews to ready missiles for retaliation. Then, a crucial cross-check. Satellite feeds showed empty skies. The nightmare evaporated. Investigators found a technician had mistakenly loaded a training simulation that mimicked a massive Soviet strike, injecting phantom warheads into live warning displays. The near miss reverberated globally. Soviet leader Leonid Brezhnev wrote President Jimmy Carter warning of the tremendous danger such errors posed in a hair-trigger nuclear standoff. Worse, the episode wasn't a one-off. In 1980, three separate NORAD alerts traced to a faulty computer chip again suggested attacks that didn't exist. The lesson was stark. Automated systems meant to compress reaction time could also amplify human and technical slips into potential catastrophe. Underscoring the need for redundant sensors, independent verification, and cooler heads when the screens suddenly shout Armageddon.